Hi everybody. Welcome to Billy Holman Creations. This is Billy. And this is Wednesday. I'll tell you, I was down and out for a couple of days. Went to the doctor Monday. Got on some antibiotics. I'm feeling a lot better. But the problem is, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I don't have time to do a real full-blown video using resin. So, this is what I've come up with. I had made this rectangle uh, coaster, I guess you'd say, or little tray. It's not that big. It's like, oh, I want to say four by seven, five by seven. Oh, quite a while ago, just using uh, leftover resin. And it's, it's ugly. Just going to say it. It's, it's really ugly. So, um, I was racking my brain today thinking, all right, let's doctor this up. Let's make, uh, well, we could do a tattoo, okay? Or I dug out some stencils. I could have stenciled something on here and painted it. Or I could have taken my outliner pens and did something on there. But actually none of that would work. And the reason none of that would work is because I cannot do anything that requires a top coat because I have cork on the back. And by the time I tape the cork, try to make some side edges just for a top coat, I thought, no, that's not going to happen. So I found a really cool mold on Amazon. And there's all, there's quite a few. Now, this mold is made by Decker Molds. This is called Forest Flora, and they're used to accent furniture, right? And they're good for resin, uh, modeling clay. Um, that's all it says, clay and resin. So this one is called Forest Flora, and I don't know what flower this is. It almost looks like a crocus, but then a crocus doesn't open up like that. I'm not sure. So I found this mold and I thought, okay, pour the resin, make the mold, glue it on top here. And I'm thinking of making this a hanger, you know, put a hanger on it, drill a couple holes, put a hanger on it. So, okay, I decided that's what I'm gonna do. Then it comes to colors. I don't know what colors to use. I thought about, um, you know, taking my chameleon powders and doing that kind of flower, but this is so busy. This is so busy that, could you imagine a chameleon powder on that? Just, it would just, it'd be worse than it is right now, my thought. So I dug out some of my soap dye pigment powders. And the closest I could get to this orange is paprika. Now I got these from the soap shop on Amazon a long, long time ago. So those are both paprika. I thought, well, there's your orange. Now do I pull up a green for the branches or the, uh, yeah, the branches or stems? I don't know. Green would be like, too much green would be just too much i'm thinking all right settle for brown settle for brown i've got a light brown and an umber and uh they're pretty close to the same actually i think this has a little more uh sparkle to it like a little copper in it or something so i'm thinking i'm gonna i'm gonna do umber so paprika and umber is what we're going to do. I'm going to move this aside. I'll take this to the shop and I think I'll drill two holes up here. So this can just be like a little wall hanging. Okay, so. And the other plan is. Thank you everyone. I have now over 500 subscribers. I was hoping to hit 500 by New Year's, but two days after New Year's I hit 500 and I want to thank you all so very much. So this is going to be a giveaway. And um, 
I might have a couple other things to give away. I'm not sure yet. But let's give away... I'll give away three little gifts. So, this will be the first gift. The others, surprise. And all I need you to do is give me a like, be a subscriber, and in the comment section say, 500 and I helped. 500 and I helped. And then on the 21st, which is a Saturday, I believe, um, we'll pick a winner so I can have that hopefully on Sunday's, the following Sunday's video. Okay, so thank you all so much for subscribing and listening to me ramble on and do my thing. So rather than rambling on and doing my thing, let's just um, dig into these micro powders. And you know, I've not done this except with chameleon powder, so I don't know how uh, it's going to turn out, but let's hope it's for the best. I got flakes in here already. Flakes of something. Don't know what. What could that be? Oh, that's just something in the mold. But anyway, I'll list this mold in the description box. And um, yeah, they're pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I hope to do something else with this in the near future. So I'm just going to brush on this orange. Oh, gosh, it looks good. Paprika, and I want to be sure to get up the sides of this too. So, um, yeah, yes, this is today's project. Let's see what this turns out to be like. Um, I know for the chameleon powders, we usually back it up with black resin. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a dark brown resin, I think. Close to black, but, you know, not really black. And uh, see how that turns out. So, like I said, I just want to thank you for your support. It's been actually overwhelming. I started this, my videos in September of last year. Oh, just for something to do, really, and keep my mind occupied. You know, as life throws some curveballs at you. Sometimes you just need to get into your creativity, which honestly has been my lifesaver most of my life. Not my lifesaver, but you know, I've always been drawn to it. And it just takes me into a place that I enjoy to be. So, that's where we are there. Your comments are always welcome. I enjoy hearing from you. I've made so many new friends. And to know you by name is pretty awesome. It means the world to me. And I'm still contemplating. I keep saying it. I'm trying to throw in a Wednesday video when I can. Just doing some oddball little crafts. Because heaven knows, oh, I've got a bunch of crafts I need to finish and projects aside from resin that I need to do. Oh, we got messy there. And let's see what else is new. Actually, my friend Dusty's coming over tomorrow. And um, we're going to have a craft day. That young man is so creative. That we're just going to spend some time together. Now for those of you who don't know Dusty. Dusty is a friend of my son Willie. And Willie's been gone 20 years now. But Dusty just. Uh, you know he was always here when Willie was alive. And he was here after Willie passed. And then he moved away. And now he's back. And I'll tell you it just. This young man means the world to me. And I think we're really good for each other. He's the fellow with the goslings. He has raised those two baby goslings. And they're just three months old. 
when they were here on, my, on the last visit and I put them in the end of the video last week they're just three months old and he says they're still going to get bigger but they're funny oh my goodness they just stayed in my dog kennel while Dusty was here for a visit and he let him out and they'd follow him all over the yard just to cry and so that's what I'm doing tomorrow. But that's a pretty color. That should tone that craziness down on that other piece, shouldn't it? I didn't know what else to do with it. Oh, what else is new? Oh, didn't think I'd have any band gigs for a while, but actually Saturday, this Saturday, we're doing a private party. And then the following Saturday, we're playing, I've never heard of such a thing, but we're playing at a bowling alley during some kind of tournaments. So that should be fun. I haven't done that before. The stems on this almost look like a bamboo. Does a bamboo have a flower? I'm going to have to Google that. I don't know. Just make sure I've got all my sides done. I don't know if bamboo has a flower. But we shall see. We shall see. And if these um, blooms here need some definition, I might just rub a little stain on them and, uh, you know, fill in the, the cracks. That's what I usually do with my carvings is once they're done, put a little stain on them and, and that really defines all the detail. I'm going to shake this over my trash can and take a quick peek and make sure I've got all... Well, I didn't get that side or that side. Let's make sure I have all the sides in here. All right, I'm going to fast forward, get the brown in here, and then I will... Oh, gosh, is that a bloom or a leaf? Oh! I think that's a bloom. I don't see any leaves. That's a little bud. We better get that. There's a bunch here. I could probably use this. Yes, these mica powders go a long, long way. All right. All right. We're going to fast forward and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, everyone, I'm going to make up a little resin, get set up for that, do a pour. I'm going to put this on my heating mat, so maybe later this evening, because right now it's like 6 o'clock at night, maybe later this evening I can demold and go ahead and set it on the plaque. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, well, it took longer than I thought. I had to heat up my resin and it's still bubbly, so I had it in a hot water bath for about 10 minutes. It probably could have used it longer. Um, I'm trying a new resin today. I'm trying this um, Naked Fusion Diamond Clarity. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. I've never used it before. I think the reason I got it is uh, it was on sale. So I mixed up two ounces and I that should be plenty. And let me clean this stick off. I want to make a brown. So what I have here is from Just For You Online UK. It's a color paste in brown. 
and it's one of the first colorants that I oh, I can't even open it pliers that I've tried that I ordered when I first started resining mainly because oh my goodness I need to get a gripper mat there it is mainly because it had a lot of colors for the price and just starting out you know I had to be very cautious of my spending I still need to be very cautious of my spending this is pretty thick I can't even shake it so I'm just gonna take a clean stick oh my god it's harder than a rock I knew I should have used this up before it got too old let me see look at that it's like tar uh, what do you think I'm gonna have to try to use it Nothing lasts forever. I don't even know if we'll get a color out of that. It'll even. Oh, gosh, I don't even know if it'll work. Like I said, I've had it too long. It won't even come off the stick. How do you fix that? Warm them up too? Maybe that's what I need to do next time. Let's warm it up. Well, that's not worth the effort. Look at that. It won't even come off the stick. Okay. Next time I'm going to use this, I'm going to try to heat it up. Heat it up first. Because I know that's what you do with some of the other pastes. And I didn't even think about it. And my room is rather cold here in the winter because it's in the back porch. So, let's go to... The Bombay Brown, my Bombay, Dr. Phil Martin's Bombay Brown. This is a translucent colorant, so I'm gonna, just going to load it up. Two, I'm going to do three good squirts in there. Oh, and this resin is bubbly. Hmm. I wouldn't mind you commenting on what your favorite resins are because I I used Amazing Clear Cast for the longest time. I really liked that. And then I've got some Pudio. I just have small bottles of that. Oh, what else do I have over? Oh, I have some liquid glass and that's what I used. It's a deep pour. It's a two to one ratio I don't have any brown pinata ink so let's just throw you know one once that's condensed in its space it should go brown but we're just gonna go with it and I don't want to pour any pigment paste in it but there you have it, brown, brown. It's like a tan brown. Oh, that made the bubbles disappear, that's for sure. So let's pour. I hope I have enough. We'll see. I have this on my heating mat, and I don't want to pour to where it disrupts the pigment, so I guess I'll just go in the middle and let it let it flow. excited about this. How, how neat can you be, Billy? How neat can you be? Mm, not too bad. So, I don't know if I'll make a wire hanger, a chain hanger, a beaded hanger. I guess I'll have to look through and my stash and see what sounds good. That brown pigment does not look very brown. This should help. No matter what. Whoa. Oh, 
And with this heating mat, gosh, I bet within a couple hours, this should be uh, set up. I'm not in bed by then. Can demold it. I'm going to have more resin than I need. Once I use up these plastic cups, I'm going to get some paper cups. I'm sure that'll help so I can pinch them. Let's go back over here a little bit. Gosh, what else can I do with this brown? Let's see. Looks pretty getting pretty full. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna let you go and I will finish this pour and get back with you as soon as I can demold. All right, whoa. find something else to do with this. Have a good night, everybody. I'll see you in a little while. Thank you. Be sure to comment 500 and I helped. And this is open to everyone, but please be a subscriber and like and put that in the comment and we'll have a drawing. All right, see you in a little while. Bye. Good morning, everyone. I'm so anxious to demold this little gem. Um, I wasn't able to do it last night, although they were flexible, but not quite set. Um, I had extra resin, and of course, I love my little fish molds. I, um, I have make, been making a lot of these because I have a piece in my head planned out to use these little koi fish. Aren't they gorgeous? I have all colors, but for the project I want to do, I'm going to have to paint them all the same color so stay tuned for that one I'm still planning it out in my head here I had the extra resin so I thought well I'm gonna make more branches so I had this little mold which I believe gosh I get clay molds and condiment molds mixed up but that's a branch um, I used this mold before on a really cute little plaque that I want to make another one with. Um, I don't know if you saw that one. I don't know what video that was, but it had the deer in the forest surrounded by uh, a grove of trees, it looked like. All right, look at this. I'm excited. We're just gonna, oh, I have, clean up the edges, not a problem. I kind of like that. That's therapeutic. But I want to see how this paprika color turned out against the brown and I hope I don't have bubbles that came out nicely these are sturdy molds too look at that okay here we go dun 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 da. oh well the orange or paprika is brown uh, close to the color brown but I like it. Let's see what it's going to look like on top of this plaque. Uh, I think it's going to clash. I think it's going to clash. Well, actually, I'm going to have to cut part of the stem off at the very end, but I'm going to stand up. I like it. That really calms it down, don't you think? I think it's gorgeous loving this mold I might have to accent some colors uh, but oh god and you know it's I can't tell if it's a matte finish or it's a matte finish but the sheen comes out through the um, pigment powder I like it 
So I'm going to go out to the shop, clean these up, uh, figure out where I'm going to drill some holes, and uh, oh, it's different. Really is different, but I like it, and it almost fits perfectly. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day, everyone. Talk to you shortly. Bye. Okay, everyone, I am back with this uh, not-so-pretty plaque. But before I show you what the next steps are going to be, I have to acknowledge a gift that was sent to me from... A beautiful lady named Wanda and she has Wanda's blessed creations I have her link um, in my description box and she sent me a few little beautiful gifts I thought I would share with you a lovely card he has made everything beautiful in its time Ecclesiastics 311 just a little thank you for all of your support Miss Billy I know you will create something beautiful I love you, my sweet baby, and God bless you and your family. Love, Wanda. Well, I think with the gifts that Wanda sent me, she's subconsciously sent me a challenge. <laughs> Just saying. First of all, this beautiful little mold here with, uh, oh, uh, seashells and uh, starfish. That's really cute. Okay, I think I can work with that easy. But then she sent me these clear stamps from Crafter Square. They're birds and flowers. And I'm going to have to refresh my memory as to see how some artists have used uh, these stamps. And I think Claire of uh, Claire's uh, Corner. What is it? No, excuse me, Claire. Forgive me. Uh, I've seen Claire do some beautiful... Um, work with stamps in her resin and I have her link in my description descriptions also we have more stickers really bright colorful stickers uh, from Lucky Star here's another set from uh, Crafty Square this is glass stickers with the flamingos there's a theme another theme here is nature and I believe these are for um, scrapbooking but I think I can do something with those a bunch of colorful stick-on stars from Jot and it's double-sided there's a lot of little hearts there I said stars I meant hearts a lot of hearts rub-ons I love rub-on transfers that's really pretty I love the muted color of the sage greens some rhinestones now, I have some of these in black and silver, but the colors are beautiful. I'll, I'll use these. Now, the challenge goes with uh, these wall art stickers. They are big. They are big, big, big. This, look at this. This is roses, flowers, and an arrow with feathers. That's big. Oh, it's double-sided. Look at that. Oh, wow. Love that. These are... Um, Roses and succulents, and that's double-sided. Oh, isn't that pretty? I have to work on a bigger project with those. This one is a complete dream catcher sticker. So you have the one half and then the other half. Okay, Miss Wanda, I'm thinking, I'm thinking already. And this one's really pretty. These are made by Main Street Wall Creations. Beautiful, beautiful um, poppies both sides so thank you miss wanda i appreciate your support so much and i will get back to our project okay when i left you with this last i said oh i love it it's beautiful you know um no it isn't this came out so bland i had to fix it up so i was having a little craft day with my friend dusty yesterday so i took my polyurethane polyacrylic excuse me mix it up with some of the soap micas and a little paintbrush and I painted this again I painted over 
what came out in the mold. We It needed color. It needed these colors. So I tried to match it up, and this is what I came up with. It just calms that bugger right down because it's pretty wild. Now I can say, now I can say I like it. I really, really like it. So paint it over that, that uh, flower mold. And now I'm in the process of putting some grommets in the corner because I want to make this a hanger. And because it has, you know, the cork on the back, I didn't want to risk, you know, putting a wire through and having it just wear that off. So I happen to have some 3 16 inch grommets here. And I'm, I've got a whole bunch of grommets and I'm thinking, what in the world do I do with these? So I'm going to take a little E6000. I did the one already. And the little my micro brush, one with the tip that came off. And I'm going to put a little E6000 in this hole. And I guess I'll just do it that way. I don't want to make a mess. I don't want it oozing all over. Get it in the hole. Get this little grommet. Hope it fits. I just used a power drill and drill these holes in here. Push it in there. Mm, get it in and it's still rising. So I'm going to take a little tissue here. Pardon the noise. I've got a little mallet. I'm just going to tap that tap that flush if I can. So hold your ears. Or I'll take that out. Let's see, did I do it? Well, it's still not flush. All right. I'm going to bang. So I'll cut this out of the video for you. It's too obnoxious. Get in there. I want it tight, but I want to be able to get it flush. There we go. Now, let's do the same with the back. See, even drilling, I I could have done some major damage here. Thank goodness I didn't. I should be able to get these in here. So I'm going to run a wire through. Whoops. And, um, of course, because of how thick this is, this is almost a half an inch thick, I don't have any, um, oh, what are they called? Jump rings that big. Or else I would have just slipped a jump ring in there. But we're going to protect this cork. There, like so. Now that should dry nicely and be glued in. So we'll be safe there. Now, get a little more glue in here. Make sure that's set in. Now I'm excited about this project. I'll tell you, when I demolded, initially I thought, oh my word, that's not going to work out. The more I looked at it, the more I thought, I've got to paint it. And like I said before, I can't do a top pour because of this cork. and I don't want to ruin it. So, there we go. I'm going to let that... it in. It's still pretty spongy, but it should hold. Cross your fingers. Okay, that's done. If anyone has any ideas what to do with all these grommets, please let me know because this is like just a third of what I have in a little box, which I didn't realize I had. Okay, now, I'm not a jeweler. I've got a few tools, and I've got some wire, and I've got, I looked and looked for chain, and I found some gold chain, so that's why we're going with the gold, and to make it a hanger, let's see what this measures, it doesn't have to be real long, but if I go about here, and grab my ruler, and see, oh god, reach, Oh, that's a reach. See how long that is. We'll just go with whatever it's closest to. I like things measured and exact. I've got to take that end off. It's bent. We'll say 
we'll go seven and a half inches. So I have a little set of wire cutters here. Let's just cut that off. Oh, very good. Get rid of that little piece. Get rid of this piece here. That's all bent up. We don't need that. Okay, come on you. Have that. Then I have some, what is this, 20 gauge gold plated wire. And uh, let's see. I was trying to figure this out in my head on how I'm going to do it. But we're going to go get some, pardon me, get some by golly here. What do I do with my little cutters? Here we go. So. I think I'm just going to take this tool. I did buy this recently from Michaels. And I'm just going to make a little ring here. Figure out how to use this properly. Make a little ring. Didn't do that very good. But let me cut that off and we'll... Now this piece isn't very heavy, so my thoughts are this should hold it just, just fine. Get that into a little circle. I'm gonna leave it open. I'm gonna put the end of my chain in real quick. Get that in there. Come on, Billy. Can you see me? I don't think I can get any lower with this phone stand. I do like it though. I had a tripod earlier and it just didn't work out for me. So I could, if I would have grabbed my other pliers, made this a little tighter. Let's see what I can do. Okay. Crimp this in there. Make sure that's, that's a big circle. I didn't want a big circle. But if I, I'm going to pause you. I have to get my other little tool. I'll be right back. Sorry. Okay, this is what I should have grabbed in the first place, really. I'm going to tighten this up, even if I have to make it a double wrap. I just want that nice and secure. Okay. Oh, and there's a little piece sticking out. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Here we go. Now, I want to bend this back just a little. And I'm going to put this wire through my grommets. And it's not going to be a perfect circle, but, uh, well, actually I can try. Let's see if I can figure this thing out, this tool here. I'm going to make it a nice curve to it. There we go. Do a nice curve to it. Thread this through. I can't bring this up. Well, better, better than it was. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there, and I don't want it extremely tight. Now I'm getting E6000 on me. I'll bring this over and I am just going to wrap myself some more room. I'm just going to wrap this right here like this. Just a couple times. And it's not very neat. All right, my neighbor Nancy says I have OCD or something because I'm fussy. All right, now little wire clippers. 
as close as we can. Give that a little squeeze. So. There we go. There, nothing's sticking out, I think. Yes, there is. Get that in there. Okay. Okay. There. And that's not going to rub. Oh, it's pulling my grommet out. Didn't want that to happen, but I didn't want it to rub on this cork. I should have did it a little bigger. There, let's just move it. Let's just wire you can bend it there so it's not messing with that. Yes, it is. Oh, geez, Billy, come on. All right, I'm going to pause you, do this again because it's rubbing on the cork and I don't want that. Be right back. Oh, I lost you for a second. All right. The chain is on. It's not the best wrapping job. Like I said, I'm not a jeweler, but there we go. There we go. Now, let me show you how this flower turned out after I painted it. That's better. That is so much better. I used orange and a little yellow and the I use the paprika and then I add a little orange to, to the paprika. And now, look at that. It's gonna hang over just a tad here, and a tad there. But I'm gonna glue this down and there it is. That's so much better than what I initially thought. So picture this glued. I will do that, let it set and take a beautiful picture. Now I absolutely love it. Look at that got the shine. I didn't do anything to the to the stems. I just left them as they were. But painting that on with the polyacrylic made the big difference. So this will go to our lucky winner when I have the I will draw names on the 21st of January and then the 22nd on my next video I will announce our winners. And all you need to do is be a subscriber like this video and in the comments write 500 and I helped and without your help I couldn't be doing this so thank you everyone take good care and I'll see you next time peace out